the main character of the story, Blue Ocean Bob, lives on the island with his mother and father. Bob is a pretty independent kid, and he's looking for something more in life. Just doesn't feel totally fulfilled. So he sets out on kind of an adventure to, to maybe figure something out, and he, he meets a dolphin who leads him to Doc, who is a very wise sea turtle. And Doc basically helps Bob begin his journey by asking Bob, well, decide what you love. So he decides he, he loves the ocean, he, he wants to work with the sea creatures and become a marine biologist. But he realizes in order to do that, he's gonna to need to work with an expert, someone to be his mentor in that area, and that's when he meets Mary Marine. Doc, and later Earl the Clam, and Wallace the Walrus, they give him philosophical guidance, but he needs a practical mentor. Xena is a, a pink hummingbird. She's always with him. I call her his guardian. She's always cautious, a little doubtful. Bob loves having her around, but Bob also has to not always agree 100% with her. I think we all have this element of, a, of something that might hold us back. I did not set out to be a children's book author. It wasn't my plan. The purpose was really to teach certain principles to children, principles of achievement, principles of uh, personal development that I learned as an adult. I also wanted to have a positive environmental uh, message for children. I call it ocean awareness. The real impetus was my son helping him understand some of these principles that have been so helpful to me in life and being able to share them with him and other children. All I can tell you is that every time I've gone into a school to read my books, I have gotten a tremendous response back from the kids. Usually long packets with things they've written about the books, what they've learned from them. I think the, the lyrical nature of it is a good vehicle to get these meaningful concepts over to the kids. The book has, has, has won 10 awards um, and it's gotten some great endorsements. I think it's universal. I think it touches every continent, every area. I think it works because Bob is constantly facing his own challenges and overcoming them. And I think kids can relate to that and they can see that and do the same.